Hello, today I'm going to be guiding you through a website navigation of our Green Ninja program. As soon as you log into a curriculum, you will land in the grade 6 overview. If you would like to change grade levels, all you have to do is scroll to the top and select the grade level desired. Let's explore grade 6 overview. The first thing you're going to notice is our office hours and online support. These dates and times may change, so please check the website for any updates on our time slots. The next thing to highlight is the grade store line. Here you're going to see a short summary of what happens in each one of our six units for grade six. You can see at the top the amount of lessons of a particular unit, the challenge of the unit, any science methods highlighted in that unit, and the culminating experience for that particular unit. The grades overview also has different topics like technology and teaching, how to discuss science talk with your students, diversity highlights, and those lessons are hyperlinked if you would like to see how they look like, library information, and outdoor resources that match that particular grade level topic. Now let's go to our standards tab. In our standards tab, you're going to see the NGSS standards divided by different topics. The first topic is by discipline, and you can click each one of the performance expectations, and you will see at the top all the lessons where that particular PE is covered or highlighted. Same for other disciplines. The next category is by unit. Here you can see the six units for grade six and it matches the ones to our left. And you can do the same thing. You can click on the PE and you can see all the lessons where that particular PE is being covered. You can also click on them to go directly to that particular lesson. We also have the Common Core and ELD standards, Common Core for ELA, and you can expand and see where that particular standard is being covered. Same with math, and also ELD. We also highlight California's environmental principle and concepts. Now let's move on to our materials tab. In the materials tab, you can download all the materials for that particular grade level as a CSV file. But you can also see those materials divided in two categories. The ones that we expect that can be provided by the school or the teacher and the ones provided in the Green Ninja kits. If you expand either of those categories, you will see the items listed, the quantities required, which lessons have those materials in, and you can click and see directly in the lesson, any alternatives in case you cannot find the original item, and any notes for specifications or instructions for those particular items. Now, towards the bottom of the page, you will see the Green Ninja list of materials. And you also will see any safety guidelines and other information that could help you with those materials. Now, let's move on to the program tab. In the program tab, you're going to see a website navigation tutorial if you need a refresher on how our website works. And you also see the structure of the different parts of our website, the grade overviews, the unit overviews, and our lesson plans. In the GN classroom, we give you tips and strategies for different topics, such as classroom management, how to set up desks and tables, technology, 
any safety tips that are needed, and so forth. On the last tab, the remote learning tab, we give you an introduction video on how our remote learning materials work, the structure of our remote learning materials, and how we converted our original program into the materials that can be deployed remotely. You will also see lesson maps of each one of the units in the grade level. At the bottom of the page, there is a video with specific instructions on how to download and access these remote learning materials and how to use them with either Canvas, Google Classroom, or any other learning management system of your preference. Now let's move on to the unit's overview. Once you select a unit, you will land on its overview. The first thing you're gonna see is the challenge of the unit, the science methods highlighted in that particular unit, and the culminating experience of that unit. Something worth highlighting is the unit storyline. This is a great summary of everything that happens in the unit from the student perspective and from the teacher's perspective. You can see the unit challenge at the top and the primary PEs or NGSS standards covered in this unit. Lesson sequences as the students are moving through the unit and any science topics, key activities, or NGSS focuses that we do in that particular unit. Then we highlight the culminating experience that ties the entire unit together and the expected student outcomes at the end of the unit. Another key thing worth highlighting is the unit roadmap. This is a one image snapshot of the key components or key concepts of this particular unit. You're gonna see how this image repeats multiple times throughout the units to help the students understand and keep track of what concepts they have already discussed or have yet to explore. In addition, we provide more science background on the topics of the unit to help the teacher deploy these materials, Green Ninja connections, home to school connections, any prior knowledge needed, and how we address assessments in this particular unit. Now let's move on to the lessons tab. Here you're gonna see all the lessons listed. You can also see a list of the lessons if you expand the arrow in the left panel. One thing worth highlighting is that you will notice that all of the lessons are marked by a circle. This circle identifies the progression of that particular PE in that lesson. If you click on our different progression levels, you will notice the 5E model identified inside it. Lessons will also have a check mark or a star identifying points where there are checkpoints or part of the culminating experiences. If we move on to the standards tab, you're gonna see information about how the standards are covered in this particular unit a list of the performance expectations covering the unit. And as you expand them, you can see the lessons where they're being covered. Connections to other NGSS standards, Common Core and California ELD standards for this particular unit, and California's environmental principles and concepts for this particular unit. Now let's move on to the materials tab. 
The materials tab for the unit is very similar to the one for the grade overview, where you can see the two categories provided by school and teacher and provided by the Green Ninja Kit. And you can also download them as a CSV file. The last tab is a resources tab. In this tab, you're going to find a reminder of our remote learning program with video and instructions in a PDF format. Also, a reminder of the structure and how we made our conversion. Next, you're going to find Google Doc files or Google Drive folder links. These Google Drive folders have in them all the worksheets, readings, PowerPoints, and assessments in a way that you can edit them either to change questions or to provide them directly to your students to fill in. You will notice that there's two different links, one for the files in English and one for the files in Spanish. Instructions on how to create your own copies of these files are noted below. You're also going to find a highlight of the culminating experience teacher guide. This file is also in a particular lesson that introduces the culminating experience in the unit, but we highlight it here so you have another method of access. The culminating experience teacher guide has examples, rubrics, and everything needed to be successful in deploying the culminating experience of the unit. Next, we have the end of unit study guide that teachers can use to support their students as they review towards the end of the unit. You will also find our pocket lab section in which we include links to videos and the pocket lab resources page for more information on how to use these sensors that have been added to our lessons. And lastly, you're going to find additional readings that we have matched through Nucella to the topics of the unit that you can deploy at different reading levels for your students. Now let's access one of the lessons. As soon as the lesson opens, the first thing you're going to see is a summary of the lesson, the phenomena, any learning objectives, the remote learning section with links of the Google Drive folders with all the remote learning materials for you to access if needed, the files, and you will notice that there's this toggle button that you can click and the files automatically change to Spanish. We can toggle back out. Any materials used in this particular lesson will be listed. Any prep that the teacher has to do beforehand and the actual lesson plan. We have estimated times, but of course this is up to your discretion. You will see that the files are listed again in each section of the lesson plan, and you can preview these files. You can download these files, or if you want to push these files directly to your Google Classroom in a PDF form, you can just click the Google Classroom logo and send them directly to your classroom. We also share some background knowledge for teachers and information on access and equity, the standards that are highlighted and covered in this particular lesson, other standards like Common Core and ELD, any vocabulary that also toggles to Spanish, and how this particular lesson ties to the previous or the next lesson that the students will see. Some of the lessons will also have extensions that you can use as homework or for your students that are in a more advanced level 
and they will be listed towards the end of the lesson. I hope this was useful. Let us know if you have any questions. Thank you so much.